Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, y'all. I think about the last time I did something for their community. They practice and shooting me. I guess I did something wrong. Something that can't be settled over a game of pong. But these niggas came better arms. I'm still writing songs. Never want to leave my home. Stay in the sheets. Sucking tits until it's sunny morning. Excuse me, grand rising, stack piling. She got her own money. We just high-fiving sexual organs. Cause that's what gods and goddesses do. Let me know if that's an issue. I'm a firm believer in residual income. I don't know if women still use but my product's way fucking better. Shoot stack cheddar. Uh, hey, 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 waiting for another episode. Uh, another episode. I know you've been waiting for another episode. I know you've been waiting. Yeah, let it fucking go. Yo. Yo. Welcome back. To another episode of Lord of Perfected Work. It's the host, Lord Shoe X. I'm a polymath based out of Georgia. The United States of America, Georgia. Not the country, Georgia. This is where I be. I'm back. We back. We doing what we doing. And it's excellent. If you haven't gone to my website, shoelovesrebels.com, feast your eyes on the little purple box that's next to my face, my, my anime face and my actual face. If you haven't been to the website, there's some products in the little slideshow I got right here. These images, these are notebook covers. This is jewelry that we have, waist beads, um, bracelets, necklaces, all come with pendants, earrings. Also, we have notebooks that you can journal in if you're trying to you know keep track of your life path we got journals that you could just write your deep desires and feelings in but y'all know how i feel about desire so i wouldn't i wouldn't recommend writing desires in these notebooks but if you need a notebook to write desires in you can use one of these notebooks also uh we have books that are written by michelle is the author she goes by 11 11 she actually be in these chats sometimes. Actually, pretty much every time. But yeah. Check out her books. Check out her art. She sells uh, poor art as well. Canvases. One of ones. So check out all the products that we have on the website. And everything on Tefnet Archive, which is where we sell our jewelry, bracelets, uh, waist beads, earrings. Everything on that website is 50% off. So check it out. Let me know if you rocking with it. Bookmark the website if you end up not going to the website today. Also, you can add me on IG at Shoe Loves Rebels LLC. You can also add me on Facebook or like my page on Facebook. I'm actually on Facebook. I have a personal account too. It's uh, under Lord Shoe X, and I'll type it because they wouldn't let me put the actual word Lord or X, so I had to spell it out. So this is what it looks like on uh, Facebook. So yeah. Uh, you can follow me on there, see what I got going on. I just posted the pictures from uh, the Trap Fest event I went to the day before yesterday. So you can check them pictures out. Let me know what y'all think about my photography skills. Now, mind you, I'm still a beginner. I bought a beginner camera. I have a Canon M50. So that's technically what most beginners use. As far as what I did my research on, because before I do anything, I try to do research. Because there's no point in just jumping into shit. And then, you know, you out here capping like you the shit. Like, oh yeah, I'm the goat of this photography shit. But yeah, now that we got all the shameless plugs out the way, you can also hit me up at my email too, LordShoeX at ShoeLovesRebels.com. You can't forget the website. It's on like everything. So check that out. Now, let's get into today's great, great session. But first, just get out how I feel a little bit right now, man. Man, my family is still here, y'all. I'm not really sure why, but <laughs> they're still here and eating up everything in the crib. But it's cool, man. 
it just comes with the territory, you know? People want to be around you when you the shit. But you notice that I'm not around them because I'm focused on my purpose. And people equate that to being mean, but I'm not mean. I'm just focused. <laughs> you feel me? Some of us understand what our life path is. And my shit just took a twist. Turn. Twisty turn. Which, I guess I could talk about that a little bit. But, um. Uh, I ain't gonna go too deep into it. I'm not gonna make that the topic of today because I actually wanna talk about some real shit today. I left my notebook downstairs though because I, at first I was like, man, I need to look at my notes and I'm just like, you know what? Fuck these notes, man. Y'all should know by now, bro. Most of these fucking live streams, I be freestyling them anyways. Just because I'm getting off the energy of that day. If there's a certain type of energy I need to expose for that day, then that's what I need to talk about. But, yeah, so, that's just one thing that I've been reflecting on so far. But, yeah, today has been very interesting. There's been a lot of people coming in and out. So, if, uh, if y'all rocking with me and y'all been watching these streams pretty consistently with your boy, just type in any number four times. My number is, I'm a life path number one, so I tend to like number ones. So, I will put one four times. But, yeah. If you're rocking with your boy, just type any number in, in the chat four times. Let me know y'all fucking with me. Because right now I'm going on my seventh consecutive day of streaming. Um, I started out doing two-hour streams, but I just felt like the information, I don't want to just be blabbering for a long time about information I could split up. And the video, I don't really mind, you know, people not coming into my live super deep. You know what I'm saying? Eventually they will once they know my set schedule, but... But right now, my main thing is just making sure that I'm getting the information out to the people. You know, during these strange times, because I just feel like a lot of people like me, introverts, but I'm really an extrovert, but I'm an introvert now in my 30s because I'm just starting to realize that niggas ain't really on the shit that they talking about. So I have to really be careful. And sorry for using the word nigga, but... I mean, look at me, bro. I'm a purple people. You know what I'm saying? Well, technically, I'm an indigo person today, so. <laughs> so, I'll just be indigo. But, yeah. So, if you're in the chat today and you're watching me, I am Laura Shoe X. I'm polymath based out of Georgia. United States, Georgia. Not the country, Georgia. <laughs> I don't know why I feel the need to say that today, but. Yeah. And this is Laura the Perfected Work. So, today we're getting on the topics about our normal streaming schedules and the last few things that I'll be doing on this uh, particular stream because the past seven days I've been consecutively streaming. And I just want to do that because on Twitch they require you to do that to, to move up. And I want to eventually become a, either a Twitch partner or a Twitch affiliate, whichever one works the most. But... I can't do it without y'all help. So the more people come in here, you know, if y'all got time, make clips of y'all favorite parts of the videos. You know what I'm saying? Get involved with your boy because I'm getting involved with y'all. And also drink plenty of water. Because I just ate my weight in spring rolls, which are terrible for your body. But, you know, I've been doing a lot of terrible shit this weekend. And I guess that's what we're going to talk about. All the terrible things that I've done. <laughs> I ain't uh, I ain't never come on these lives saying that I was ever better than anyone or perfect over anyone. I don't really compete with others because I'm competing with myself. My life is based on the realities of me being a better person, not the realities of me trying to impress people because at the end of the day when I can't impress people anymore because of people caught up in the moment type shit, and I can't impress them anymore. You know, there's nothing left. There's no intimacy there. There's no friendship there. There's no partnerships there. There's nothing there except empty voids of illusions, which I'm just trying to stay far away from illusions right now because I'm not gonna lie, for a long time, I got caught up in many illusions, but I'm just making sure that now I don't get caught up in my own illusions and telling myself things that aren't true to equate and cope with the fact, well, equate to 
other people's lives and to cope with the fact that um, I might be feeling some type of way about myself personally and trying to cast that on people. Like uh, when I spaz out early in the morning when I wake up, if I first thing when I wake up, I'm not gonna lie, yo, I trip, I be tripping, like major tripping. I be ready to smack everybody fucking faces off. You know what I'm saying? But that's just that I got that Aries energy in me. It's my sun sign, so my ego is based in Aries energy. So I'm a boss, but I'm also the baby of the zodiac. So for me, man, hearing everybody like, uh, uh, uh look at the baby, bitch, I'm a boss. First off, babies babies can be bosses, and most of the babies I know are bosses. I know people who are younger than me making more money than some of these adults that I know. They ain't making more money than me, but they making more money than adults that I know that claim to be making money, but they not really making money. They just on some fuck shit. So you gotta make sure that you... Damn, nigga. <laughs> I was like, bro. I, I thought I you Ben was gonna be back in this bitch. Like I need somewhere to rest. I work. So my nigga Josh back in this bitch, dog. He back like, oh, I'm tired of all this noise and all this bullshit. That's why I be in here streaming, bro. I see my family all the time, bro. These niggas act like they never seen each other in a hundred years. The oh, way they damn. niggas be acting. Yeah. But it's cool though, because that's what family's about. Family's about capping. No, I'm Cap. just playing. <laughs> Take it from the shoelace himself. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Let me get it's it. Right. Straight up. I Believe be, it. I be <laughs> hiding, bro. Straight up. I be hiding from these niggas. Because they, ask, Cap. Me, they ask me 100 <laughs> questions about shit I don't care about. And I don't want to be the asshole. Like, you know I really don't give a fuck about that, right? Like, it's more important things going on than that, that Monday Yo, shit. Cam. Like, if it ain't about the kids, bro, I don't care. So, the fact that they they talk to me about the kids, with that I'm cool with that. I'd rather them talk to me about the kids. Because, yo, so let me tell y'all something. Okay, so I was up in Atlanta, right? And I was talking to people because I was with Young HD little group. And I had took pictures of them. I don't know. I ain't posting to Facebook, though. But there's we were sitting in the green room. And we had a little table set up. And they was just rolling up all this shit. So... I'm sitting here and I'm like, how the kids doing? Cause HD guy, he just had a third or second child. Yeah, he had a second child. So I'm asking him how the babies are. And he's telling me, um, they're good. His girl like, oh yeah, they're good, they're good. And I'm like, yeah, I'm thinking about having kids, but I'm thinking about adopting though. I ain't really fucking with the, uh, I'm not fucking with making children because there's so many kids that don't have parents, you know? I'm just gonna adopt them. And then I'm just like, being honest, you know, just being intimate with niggas, I'm like, I'm gonna just adopt 20 kids. It, when when I'm ready to adopt, I'm gonna adopt like a, a bunch of kids and I'm gonna open a school for them and teach them niggas so they'll be the next leaders of the world, right? That would make sense. That would be the smart thing to do, right? Because, you know, most people don't have patience and children are pretty easy, man. Like, if you can deal with dumbass adults who be on petty shit, lame as fuck, doing lame shit all the time chasing bullshit and capping all the time you can deal with kids because kids only learn that shit from adults so if a kid acts like that around you all you gotta do is just teach them how to be a real a real one i was gonna say real nigga but that's that's a different category we'll just say a real one <laughs> one thing for sure though yeah. kids don't cap them niggas be straight up honest with you bro hey man you on here as hell damn <laughs> Yep. That's it. <laughs> Straight up, bro. That shit is real life. Y'all gotta be y'all gotta be the type of people that are nice to everybody though. You know what I'm saying? Like people will irritate the fuck out of you and they think they're draining your energy. But remember, remember the last the last uh formal stream I did, the uh God Dick um episode. So on that episode I was like uh Damn, I just lost my whole train of thought. See, this is why I gotta smoke before these damn streams, bro. Cause when I be stoned, nugget, this shit is easy. But yeah, fuck it. We'll just move on. I know for the main the main reason I ain't come on here is for that. But I just wanted to let y'all know that I was being intimate with people and niggas start acting weird because when you hear shit about people talking about kids, 
People don't like kids. The nigga even said he don't like kids. I'm like, how you have two kids and you don't like kids, bro? What kind of shit is that? <laughs> but I'm I'm observative, bro. I'm always listening. So people be doing stuff. They don't. They do it for their kids, but they don't do it for all kids. So that just lets you know, like, where some people's heads be. And these are people that are, um, are, uh, they're put on a pedestal in our community. And by our community, I mean community of primordials because our culture is separate, I guess, from everyone else's. But the way I look at it, our culture was created by the so-called oppressor. We don't act like how we actually are supposed to act. Our people, our primordial uh, traits have us doing things different in different places where mostly it's only primordial rule. But here, in, well, the whole entire world is colonized now. So, well, not the entire world. Just the world that y'all know inside the bubble is colonized because that was the point of the bubble was to colonize the bubble. Now, every day when I'm in the middle of all of this shit, sometimes I do want to crack. Sometimes I do want to crack and just shoot this whole bitch up and go Columbine. I mean... It, it be feeling like the right thing to do sometimes, but then I'll be like, nah, that's not real. That's not haste. That's not what niggas who are on a path of love should be doing. So I say, you know what? Fuck it. I'm about to change the dynamic of of my thoughts and try to get people on a wave of that real shit, that love. Because the only reason I even have thoughts like that is because I have never really received real love. Like, one who only knows so much love can only express it so many ways. You know what I'm saying? I, I was telling y'all about how romantic I am, but that's these are uh, daydreams. You know what I'm saying? These are just fantasies I have because I don't know what the fuck the shit is in real life. You know? And I'm not on here, like, you know, trying to be, like, victim or whatever, but I'm not a victim. I just was in certain circumstances that helped me grow. So, growing into that, now that I know that, okay, these are things that I was lacking in my life at certain points where it was critical to have these things, I know now being an adult, I can take that shit and run with it and share it with other people. Now, I ain't gonna lie, man, because my, uh, my methods be a little unorthodox sometimes. So, a lot of the time, I have to, I have to really... I have to really get my mind into a, a place where there was nothing going on. So before I did this stream, I just kind of just sat in here a little bit, you know, try to clear my head because a lot of shit be coming in my head really fast, like any given time. And I get to thinking about some wild ass shit, you know what I'm saying? Some shit that's not good, good for me to think about that changed my vibration. So. I'm just glad that I can do that. I'm just glad that I can get on here and be my genuine self and make sure that I'm I'm being as honest as I can with y'all, for real, for real. I don't wanna be the person that's just sucking the energy out of people. Yeah, I don't wanna be that guy. I don't wanna be the vampire. Even though vampires need love too, shit. Shit is just whack. It's just whack how certain shit be turning though because you'll see people ending up a certain type of way. But that's when I just, I want to intervene, but that's what we're going to talk about today is boundaries. <laughs> Create boundaries, good ones. It's as simple as that. The best way to create boundaries to me is to use your throat chakra open up your throat chakra the color sky blue meditate to that color yeah eat fruit that color not food because more than likely it's got dye in it and we know dye is some bullshit dye changes your dna so don't eat that shit. unless i mean you do what the fuck you want all i can do is give you the information but yeah I wouldn't fuck with that shit, man. I wouldn't fuck with it. Especially when I know my ball sack is like 
important in creating people and my DNA getting affected. So that means I'm drinking that shit. People gonna come out looking like that shit. They gonna come out looking like Gatorade. Gatorade. Water. <laughs> Gatorade. Water. Y'all gotta drink the water, man. <laughs> Get it out of them. <laughs> Get it out of them. But yeah, healthy ways to create boundaries, man. Use your throat chakra. Speak up for yourself, man. People will try to bully the shit out of you. My boy Josh just had to deal with some shit the other day, man. Some girl saying that uh, he kissed her. But we all know that uh, we don't do that. <laughs> And not to be on some player shit, but we don't do that, bro. <laughs> I'm just saying. I know this nigga, bro. He just like me, so I know he ain't on no fuck shit like that, man. Especially knowing, like, we don't know where these niggas' mouths been at, bro. Like, it's bad enough you can't even share. You can't even eat your girlfriend. You can't eat her all different ways that you want to when niggas be fucking capped out. Doing all kind of wild shit behind your back, and you just be wanting like, damn, I can't even eat you no more, bro. I can't eat none of you no more. I can't even eat your face. I can't eat none. Of you. Not even the toes. Not even the toes, bro. <laughs> she like, please, can you just eat my toes? <laughs> yeah, I can't, bro. <laughs> Nigga sounds satisfied. I can't, bro. <laughs> you know what you did? You know what you, you know what the fuck you did. <laughs> I mean, I ain't saying that niggas don't do the same shit too, but I'm just talking from my perspective. I'm a man woman, so I deal only with women though. I don't I have no sexual desires for men because I just I already know how I am, so it's just like I'm I'm too sexy for me to be trying to get sexy with other niggas. It's just too much sexiness. Clarity. Yeah, like see. You see how he's saying that? Like, I can't, I can't, bro. <laughs> oh, no. I can't, bro. <laughs> I mean, bro, it's not wrong with gay people. Like, they niggas gay live their lives, bro. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. I don't really hang out with gay people like that no more. I have, I had one gay friend. Yeah, I was just about to say I have one. His name is Chris Hodo, and he was cool as fuck. He worked with me when I was at Papa John's a long time ago. I have one gay friend. This nigga took me to the Victor. gay club. I think one time. I, 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 that's when I started disliking a lot of gay people. Cause I'm trying to think. No, nah, I don't think it was voices. him. They changed their voices. Now, I'm not homophobic. I'll take that. Because if they do this, like... Nigga, you know people who homophobic say that, right? <laughs> right when they say some homophobic shit. I'm not saying I'm homophobic. I'm not homophobic, I'm saying, like, but... Listen, I'm, not, I'm not homophobic. I'm not. I'm serious. Like, I'm saying, like, listen, bro. Dude changed his voice just to talk to me, bro. What you mean? Like he went to like, like a straight like, voice? Yes, bro. Like, so he, he so he didn't want to be flamboyant in front of you. Nigga was talking normal the whole day as soon as he get to me. But then he be around his. Oh, so he started talking gay around you. Yes, bro. Nigga, you ain't gotta change your voice. Just be gay. I'm just saying. Like, nah, bro. that nigga feel comfortable around you, then, bro. That's good. Nigga, no. Yes, that's Not great. Just, that means people are able yeah, to okay. become intimate with you. At bro, we weren't even right close. No, nah, but he feels. Are you not listening, bro? He feels comfortable around you. Even if y'all not close, that means your energy good enough that he can be himself around you. That's pretty good, bro. He can be himself around you. Oh, I thought you said he can beat himself. Oh my God, that's not what I said. But yeah, see, this is why we gotta have open dialogue, man. Because some people just have like they perspective of shit. And more perspectives on this uh, vlog is going to be like the shit. I can't wait till more people come on this shit. I'm glad this nigga been here the past two days because like he helped me f figure out the uh, name of the last stream. I had to come up with this one because I didn't know where the fuck he was at. But yeah. Yeah, gay people always been in my life, bro. Like um, when I was a young nigga, a gay person used to, um, used to babysit me. But that nigga never did no weird shit to me, bro. That's why I'm like, I don't know why they be like on shit. Like, why people be on shit like that, bro? Dude, it's oh. shit, man. We like, all right, bro. I can understand like if a person do that type of shit. And nine times out of ten, bro, 
if they doing that shit, I feel like that's somebody crying for help too. You know what I'm saying? That's a cry for help. Somebody don't know how to like use their vibrations correctly, so they doing it like some wild shit. And you and straight people get it. Don't matter who niggas do shit like that, bro. <laughs> they will do shit like that if they feel like if they energies misalign. But at the end of the day, like I said in my book, which y'all probably won't read for a while, but. In those bodies, bro, the creator lives. So always, like I, what do I always say, bro? What do I always say? Treat everything like Jesus, man. Like, damn, bro, this this iPhone 11 could be Jesus. Okay? Fuck. Niggas be talking shit. Yeah, dropping this shit. <clears throat> iPhone X could be Jesus. You don't got damn no. <clears throat> Fuck. This water I'm drinking could be Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, bro, you gotta be respectful, man. Niggas come up in your crib talking crazy. It might be Jesus going crazy. Shit, I wouldn't be surprised. This crazy ass world, shit. But I just be feeling like, why would Jesus come back in the matrix? <laughs> Like, when he be like, man. Can Jesus get drunk? I mean, I'm sure he could. If he wanted oh, to get dang. drunk. I'm stuck, stuck. I mean, shit. Jesus can do whatever he wants. He's a human. I would, I would imagine that since he's like a black guy during those times. Shit, that man didn't need to get drunk, bro. He, like. I'm pretty sure during those time periods, like, you could see fairies and unicorns and shit, like, just walking outside, like, Wee! so, that nigga was already drunk, like, <laughs> he was already high, he was high on spirit, though, <coughs> so y'all be forgetting, bro, if you, in the Bible, that man was living his best life, bro, he was walking, traveling the world, bro, God, like, Jesus, they killed you, yeah, but, uh, who, who did it, uh, I told you to stop hanging out with you. I told you they were going to betray you. Come here. Yo, God, I can't. <laughs> ah! I'm sorry. Not again. Oh, God. Oh, see, what? <laughs> you see You see how uh, you see how indoctr indoctrinated niggas is, bro? And I just wanted to say that because that just lets you know, bro, the history of all that shit. And one little, one little tiny snippet right there. I hope somebody made a clip of that shit. <laughs> I hope somebody made a clip of that shit. But yeah, man. Somebody has to call them and go, Cam, come outside. And then leave the door open and just run off. I mean, they do this shit all the time. You know, when you're doing something and you serious about it, people are always going to do shit like that, bro. That's why I just be cool, man. Always trying to interrupt me. Yeah, yeah. Always, bro. <laughs> like, always. <laughs> it don't even matter, bro. Go outside. Bro, leave me alone. Nah, man. I ain't going to say that shit to them. I just... If anything, bro, I just get what I got off, like this stream right here. I'm gonna just get this stream off. And, you know, whatever information I got out, I got out, and that's what it is. I'm not gonna trip about the shit because it's enough shit in life to stress about, bro. I'm not gonna add more to the list, you feel me? <laughs> like, nigga, I already be on edge. Family. <laughs> nah, bro, family makes me happy, bro. It's just, sometimes family do a lot of shit that make you think about your family before that you know like your predecessors like your great grandma and shit y'all yeah. never got to meet her but i actually used to live with her before nana lived with us her mom used to live with us nigga. Yeah, so like i didn't live with all the generations bro oh, what was her name again caldonia <laughs> caldonia gaston and her brother was hw gaston See, I wish y'all really got to know them niggas like how I know them. Because I used to call Uncle H.W. Grandpa, but he wasn't my real grandpa. He was my great uncle. Our actual grandpa, your mom's dad, passed away. And my mom's dad passed away when she was five. So, I ain't never got to meet our grandpa. But our family structure being kind of throwed off because of that, too. Yeah, I, I was going to say, yeah, we don't have a grandpa. Nope. I've never seen a grandpa. We don't have a grandpa because he died when uh, mom was five. Yeah, mama, I ain't seen his dad's dad. Yeah. Dad, my, my dad, mom just died too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know. No, that, no. I, I remember him talking to me about it because I was like, bro, I'm just noticing that shit. Like, family dynamics are important, bro. But that's why I be stressing on this channel about kids, 
women and children. This is my um, two main subjects on this channel, bro. Other than uh, observations of Lord Shoot X, which is me observing how fucked this world is towards women and children. <laughs> like, it's the only, only thing I care about. Men, I care about too. But men gotta start stepping up. And that's why I'm doing these these uh, streams, bro. To give men th the intuitive wisdom that I have and, and hopes that they're listening. Now I know women probably gonna get on here and listen as well because once they know that, oh damn, Lord Shu actually listened to the women, even though he be capping like he don't, but Lord Shu listened to the women. Man, if I didn't, bro, I wouldn't be on here talking for one or two hours about this shit. So I appreciate y'all for watching always no matter what i put my time and energy into these streams to let y'all know that i genuinely love and care every single woman and child and man on this planet that's actually from this planet because <laughs> there's some niggas out here that's npcs non-playable characters little uh the niggas you in the video game you talk to them you be like hey what's up and they say the same shit over and over again yeah. Gotta continue the story. Yeah, gotta continue the story. Yeah. Imagine Those... you get NPC Uber driver. Yeah, exactly. NPC Uber <laughs> driver head ass nigga. <laughs> hey, all you NPCs. Bro. But look, what's crazy is the NPCs. Look, so this is what what how fucked up the world is right now. So the NPCs started becoming conscious, right? And they started realizing that there's playable characters. Like God has playable characters on the planet, right? So the NPCs, which are in the Matrix and don't know that there's a Matrix, they're in the Matrix trying to keep the Matrix. But the playable characters are the ones that's trying to end the Matrix. So the NPCs are the reason we even still have this shit, y'all. Y'all gotta understand, remember in the last, I don't, know, I don't wanna say the last stream. One of the streams I did recently, I was talking about uh, how things that we create become conscious. Like the Sims will eventually become conscious because that's how it goes it's never in the infinite like whenever we create something it will become conscious or it's already conscious so even if as god we're creating sims and we're creating video games those video games will eventually become conscious those anime characters that we create become conscious so that's why i'm just like man People don't even know that we out here really battling with non-playable characters that's waking up inside of the Matrix. But then at the same time, they don't know that they're created to keep the Matrix alive. So waking them up, that's why I said in my earlier streams, like once we wake those people up to the Matrix, as light workers, that's our job is to wake up NPCs and the other people that's been asleep under the spell of everything in this shit around us now we can create heaven in this bubble but only so far because there's there's all these weak ass gatekeepers that you always running into so most of the time i just don't even i don't care about trying to be like some big wig or whatever in this on this world because when i got to my point where fame could have been a thing that i wanted the gatekeeper nigga showed up and I was like, nah, this ain't it, bro. <laughs> I sounded like Charlemagne when Safari was rapping on a Breakfast Club. Nah, that ain't it, bro. <laughs> I'm not doing it, man. You see how I can play between these worlds? This is why I be on these streams because I want y'all to understand the true shamanism behind what I'm doing. I'm in between worlds, testing each and every experiment as possible or as much as possible and seeing the conclusions to these things at the end of the day where if this is going to change something among among the people then cool and even if i'm just making these videos to watch for myself i have this catalog of information that i can always go back to and watch straight from the heart in my mind so this for me this is technically like journaling even if i don't journal even if I don't meditate, getting on these streams is the, is a form of that for me. So, much, for real, much love, y'all. And I appreciate everybody that be watching these streams, man. Because I do put a lot of effort into these shits. But yeah, these boundaries, man. These boundaries that we created uh, for ourselves are what's going to get people back into... Um, 
these uh these these Christ conscious relationships because I'm starting to realize how it's a whole lot of people don't want to be in relationships and it's people that don't want to what's the word they don't want to be in relationships and they don't want to come together for the cause of emulation and what I mean by emulation is monkey see monkey do now, if I'm being the best man and you're being the best woman and we're together and we have a small child and that child sees us being our best selves, that child's going to grow up to be their best selves. And whatever we instill into that child will also make that child grow to be their best self. Now, all this like indoctrinating terms, like I'm not going to lie, even in the... Uh, the, con the primordial conscious community, which I was a part of for a while. I was a part of a lot of communities learning, learning the spirituality and learning the occultisms, the isms as well. Just learning as much as I can, infiltrating all structures, seeing what they saying and what we saying and what everybody else is saying. I'm just, like I say on, on uh, Next Tell Chirp, man, I'm getting bored with niggas' concepts of what the world is. You know, I didn't create this world for people to be separating and dividing. I didn't create the world for that. But see, when they hear Jesus speak, they don't understand it because they think Jesus is just talking. But not coming from the place of the heart where universal energy is and is stored and cycled through pretty much everything in existence every day, all the time. So tapping into that energy is simply just a shift of a mindset. And then you become, you become that thing. But the actions come with it as well. Do you really want to be God? Do you really want to be the devil? Do you really want to be Jesus? Do you really want to be who are all these people that everybody worships? Or do you want to be yourself? Worship yourself. There's a, there's a there's codes and ethics anybody can follow and create. That's what shamanism is, creating your own religion, creating your own spiritual code to follow. That equates to the universal laws as well. If you can put your codes inside of the universal laws and they fit within them, but you also found a new way, that makes you a stronger shaman than most. Because most shamans recycle information, use the same information. Me personally, none of that shit matters because as long as it leads towards universal love, universal peace, then the shaman's job is obviously done. All this extra shit, damning people and shaming people and uh, putting people into fear. No one should fear themselves. Okay? The world destroys and creates you at any given moment, whether it wants to or not. Or whether you know it or not, it'll do it if it feels like it's being threatened. But the planet's moving up in consciousness. So... As the planet moves up in consciousness, it's going to move our ass up in consciousness. So all that shit is irrelevant at this point. That's why niggas got to start creating boundaries in this time. It's time frame. The, the biggest thing you can do is create boundaries right now because entities are going to fuck with you. And they might look like people. But remember, man. That energy is in everything. Distractions are everywhere. You got to look in the eyes of some of the people that you love and some of the people that you care about and tell them, I can't. Right now, there's something more important than you and I put together. I can't. It's go time. Every day. I'm on this shit all the time now. I done got to the point, I stream multiple times a day because this information needs to be out. Because I'm going to do my part. I'm not giving up. I never gave up. As much as I wanted to at one point, 
I realize that there's this shit is bigger than me. And the people that I'm blessing with this information is gonna receive it the proper way. And they're gonna do what they gotta do with the shit. The people who really need it. Not light workers. These if you a light worker watching this, cool. Cause you only thinking the same things that I'm thinking. That's why I make these videos for people that's not light workers. This is for the NPCs and this is for the people still snoozing. This is for y'all, man. This is for the people afraid, but waking up and they're like, damn, I think there might be something that I might be able to do, even if it's small. But the first thing you gotta do before you start doing your projects or anything, you gotta start creating boundaries. Cause family will fuck up your shit. Friends will fuck up your shit. Your lover will fuck up your shit. If you don't put them at a place where, hey, if you fucking with me and you love me, you gonna be on this mission with me. We gonna spiritually evolve together. We're gonna yeah. grow spiritually, physically, mentally, emotionally, etherically together. That's how it's supposed to be for every one of us though. We all working together. But right now, it needs to be more divine unions. And that's just what it is, but it's gonna take people being being able to break away from their fears. I'm guilty of this shit, and I'll never say that. Like I said earlier, I'll never get on here and say that I'm perfect. But to over someone, you know what I'm saying? I'm perfect to me as I am to myself, because I am. I created myself to be like this. So anything else is extra. But the boundaries I create is going to help me grow as an individual. Even though we're all a part of the one cosmic web, each individual has a role to help raise the consciousness because each individual can be seen. Hey, this guy's doing this to raise the consciousness back to this level. He's going to be the catalyst for this. And then this person's going to be the catalyst for that. But at the end of the day, it all goes towards that that one single road of ascension. Now, how that looks in the end, hey, who cares? Like, we're here for the journey. We're, if, if you want it to look a certain way, then you got to do your part and push to make it look that way because the individual can change the world. Look look at individuals throughout history that have changed the world by themselves. They might have had a team, but it was that vision they had that made people want to be a part of that team. So... Always, 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 no matter what. I don't care how many times people tell you failure, you ain't shit, you ain't gonna equate to nothing. Hey, don't listen to that bullshit, man. Why you ain't got no traditional job? Hey, don't listen to that bullshit, man. Create boundaries. Hey, if you're not gonna respect my life and my lifestyle, please, I love you, but back the fuck up, nigga. If I have to knuckle up, nigga. Cause sometimes it do have to be like that. But if you can come at people with peace, cool. But sometimes you gotta whoop a nigga ass. Sometimes you just gotta fuck a nigga up. Cause people ain't gonna fucking listen. They in their ego. Shit, I'm in mine right now. Letting y'all know what it is. Cause that's how motherfuckers roll. They will come in your shit and tell you what to do. I don't wanna be that. You, I'm making these videos as dialogue, open dialogue. This is open dialogue. This is me giving my observation and how I feel over a span of time of my life that I've experienced so much shit in a little bit of time that I can I can come on here and talk about, you know, certain shit. Not to mention, I've been studying in international libraries all over the fucking world, man, as far as I'm concerned. If I ain't never been there, I done got books from there. So, I have knowledge and wisdom. I want to share it. But I'ma create boundaries. If I feel like people taking my information and using it for evil, I'll pull back. But that's the thing. That's for for a long time I didn't put out videos because I felt like that's what was gonna happen. The information I put out. That's why I'm just slowly easing into it. And each episode I'm just getting deeper and deeper. And I'm skimming the surface as much as I can, but eventually I'm gonna have to break past the hair on the skin and start going deeper into the skin down to the skeleton, down to the bone marrow, down to the uh, the atoms. Like, I'm trying to go deep on these bitches. But right now, and by bitches, I mean these streams, not y'all or actual females or like, nah. 
female dogs because that's the only time a bitch is a bitch. Unless I call her a bitch. <laughs> Which at that point, I'm just being an asshole. But I haven't had very many asshole moments lately because I've been trying to tap into my divine feminine more. Which is the most important thing to me right now. If anything, I don't, I'm not going to sit here and say that I don't use the word bitch, but I'm in the matrix and I'm a black person and I'm from the dirty ass hood, like the worst hood, <laughs> like the worst hood. And it didn't used to be a hood because my parents, well, my grandma raised my um, aunts and uncles there and it wasn't like that. It didn't start becoming that until the kids that my aunts and uncles raised grew up and turned it into the hood. <laughs> so that just lets you know like why I'm so intense when it comes to women and children because I've been to a place where women and children turn into crackheads or trappers or murderers or all of the above. Like, the city where I'm from had the highest crime rate. They, it was so bad, they made a TV special about this fucking place, man. It was higher than Detroit, and Detroit used to have the highest crime rate in the country, man. So, yeah, I just, man, I'm working so hard right now. I have so many things going on, but, you know, I don't give a fuck, man. I'm just building, and I'm learning. I'm learning as much as I can. Right now, the main topics I have been learning is political sciences which I'm been very interested in these things as of late. Political sciences and um, just different roles in public service. And the biggest thing that uh, I've always wanted to do is run for the mayor of Clarkston. And uh, it's near Atlanta. It's on the east side of Atlanta, near uh, Stone Mountain and Tucker, Georgia. But I've always wanted to run for the mayor of that town because there's so many there are so many Israelites that live in Clarkston, bro. Like, when I tell you, there is so many Israelites that live in Clarkston, Georgia. There are so many. So many. Like, y'all. It be fucking me up that I know all these information. And it's been backed up by information and facts and even when I don't look I show myself and I'm gonna just let y'all figure that out I'm not finna sit here and go too deep into it but I show myself that's why I was saying earlier life is funny <laughs> that's for 11 11 by the way. but that's why I was saying earlier that shit because even when I don't want to see the shit, because I already know, I show myself to affirm that shit. And that be the worst type of pain, because then I get on these lives, like, so ready to talk about this shit. But then I'm like, I can't. I can't talk about certain shit yet until I get my own platform. Twitch is just a means to an end. Because I tried to build a platform with someone else, but... They wanted to own my shit, my idea, and license my idea to me. Now, as far as I'm concerned, I'm the brainchild behind some of the greatest ideas. But because I don't have the understanding of certain sciences, I can't create certain things. And some days, I want to just say, fuck it. And put all my money into mastering these sciences. But then I think and I pull back. Which is important, y'all. When you have moments like that, pull back. Don't just don't just jump into it. It's cool to have passions, but pull back and see the bigger picture. What's the bigger picture? You wanna help the world, right, Lord Shue X? You wanna help the people out. You wanna help the children and the women. Well, first you gotta understand children and women. You gotta understand human psychology. You know what I'm saying? It's little factors, little sciences that go into each individual piece of helping women and children. You got to understand some kind of sci health science. You know what I'm saying? If you want to heal them, 
gotta know certain how to create certain medicines to heal the women and children and not just on a physical level but an emotional level and a mental level so many sciences after a while you just like fuck man I just want to help people you know, I don't really I don't need all these degrees and all this shit to help people like what can I do and that's when you just start realizing there's programs that already started or you can start your own fucking program. You can start your own Shoe Loves Rebels and create something that people will remember forever <laughs> because you went out of your way to create something that helps people genuinely and you genuinely care about helping people. See, these talks with myself and with y'all is, is that. It's that medicine. So... That's why I do come on here is to have information that I can use. Children, they ain't about talking, man. I know when I was growing up, I didn't want to talk about shit, man. If we not doing the shit, why? Why? What the fuck? What is the point? If we not busting moves, what's the point, bro? That's how I feel now. If we not busting moves, what's the point, bro? I don't want to talk about shit, my nigga. I want to bust a move, my nigga. It's too much shit going on in the world for you to be worried about little lame-ass petty shit, my nigga. If you really give a fuck, want to be a leader, my nigga, then what you should do is start helping yourself, my nigga. But at the same time, you try and talk to people it's hard. It's hard talking to adults because their ego always come up. I'm open. I literally just play like I ain't got shit, ain't doing shit, don't know how to do shit, just so that I can hear a person's perspective. Now, if I know you, I'm going to talk shit off rip. But if I don't know you, I'm going to let you talk. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to listen to what you got to say. Most of the time, I don't talk when I'm around new people like that. I talk to... I won't talk to nobody. Matter of fact, just like when I was around HD and them, I ain't really talk like that. I could have been talking. I told them about them kids and that was the last shit I talked about. Cause then they started talking about cryptocurrency. <clears throat> Which is a fucking waste of money, by the way. That shit is a waste. Niggas who use that shit are literally keeping the, keeping the matrix alive. Bro. People who use any of that shit like that, bro, keeping the matrix alive. Bro. And it's crazy because I'm a huge advocate for blockchain. But the only reason I'm an advocate for blockchain is because you see, you see me, right? You see my flesh, right? You see these hands, how solid they are. You see my face, how solid it is, right? That means I'm here, okay? Yeah, my mind might be light years beyond this fucking shit, but I'm still here and I still got to lead and I got to know every trick in the motherfucking book to properly lead, right? It's nothing more than that. To me, it's nothing more than resources to free my motherfucking people. I don't give a fuck who come in, who come out of the fucking, all this shit out here, bro. Niggas be coming around trying to be tough guys and shit. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. Because I'm willing to die for this shit. And I'm only saying this on here because this is just me recording data. This is just more data. I download the data and that's it. Nothing more, nothing less. Okay? Because this too is a motherfucking resource. Okay? Now, I know mad people be like hung up on, man, I got to get this money. I got to I gotta do this. I got to do that. My kids, man. And it just takes me back to that fucking sage, bro. Only a bowl of rice. What the fuck? Your kids need Gucci for? I'll never know. What the fuck? Your kids need Louis Vuitton? Nigga, you an average nigga. You ain't a dime. So what the fuck they wearing that for? You want them to believe that shit? You want them to believe in class, classism, the isms, any of them? 
you want them to believe in that shit, by all means, brother, go ahead. Because I'm not the type of person to tell anybody what to do. I just live by example. I lead by example. You see me out here, nigga. I got my own brand. I create my own shit. I pay for my own shit. I go out of the way to throw away that shit. And I'm not just saying, oh, you know, oh, you know, you got to be this type of way. Like, nigga, you can wear designer and help the world. But you got to genuinely be helping the world. You can't be putting on a front. You know what I'm saying? These niggas get out here. Be wearing fucking $100,000 jackets, bro. And they'll, they'll have little little motherfucking bullshit that they do little charities and shit but nigga that shit ain't helping nothing bro charities are cool i ain't knocking charities and i'm not saying don't donate or don't start or don't have one that you are part of charities are dope man but come on bro remember what i said step back let's take a look at the bigger picture here man come on y'all know what's good how you donating this much money to these charities and motherfuckers are still hungry out here, man. It's adults hungry out here. Veterans that have died for this country ain't got arms and legs and shit hungry. Die for this country, family members starving. So, you know, I be overwhelmed by information sometimes. And you know what I do? I ain't gonna say it, y'all. I ain't even gonna motherfucking say it. I ain't even gonna fucking say it, bro. But when you care too much, shit can be overwhelming. But that's why it take a real motherfucking leader. A real one. A nigga who willing to wake up every day with their shit on their fucking head. Ready to go to war. Yeah, I get it. They create shit like this for niggas to play video games on. That's cool. This a motherfucking... This how I'm playing my motherfucking video games, nigga. Welcome to Lord of Perfected Work. I'm Lord Shoe X. <laughs> it's another episode. If you ain't been to my website, it's right next to my face. ShoeLovesRebels.com You can add me on IG at ShoeLovesRebels LLC. And you can also add me on Facebook. Well, that's my Facebook page. It's Shoe Loves Rebels LLC also. The pictures in the corner, the little slideshow, these are actual products that's on the website. So go to the website, y'all. If you see something in the slideshow you rocking with, cop that shit, man. Everything on Tefnet Archive, all the jewelry you see, 50% off. Shop and buy Michelle's notebooks because she creates these covers from scratch, bro. Okay? This is real artwork. This ain't no fucking, we ain't go on Korea.com and get no fucking shit that some little kids made and they fucking slaving their little baby fingers away to make this shit. No, my niggas. This is real life shit that we creating, all right? Support real artists, man. And these dark fucking times supposedly supposed to be fucking dark. But I don't know. I see a whole lot of goddamn light, if you ask me. That's why we out here creating. Because we got all this light inside of us. We gotta get this shit out before we goddamn explode. You feel me? But yeah. This is Lord Shoe X. I just wanna say thanks everybody for watching this stream today. Y'all know I love y'all like you know I love you like a fat kid love cake. You know my style. I say anything to make you smile. <laughs> Don't sue me 50 cent. Shit. But yeah, I get on here because I genuinely give a fuck. So if you ain't know today from this stream that I really give a fuck and that I'm not just on here talking out my fucking ass like 90% of people around me do, then rock with your boy, share this stream, put this on Facebook, put this on your goddamn Twitters, all that good shit, man. Because y'all know I fuck with y'all, I rock with y'all. I take time out in the middle of my family festivities, but I know after this, I'm about to go get some sake. I'm about to hit up. 11-11, cause y'all don't really even even know who the fuck she is either. But I'ma hit her up, see what she got going on. I'm about to fucking get back into these notebooks, and I'm finna chill with the fam, drink some sake, drink some brew, you know, Lord Shoe X shit. 
But I holler, man. I appreciate y'all, bro. For real. Lord Shoe X, I do, bitch. I'm out this bitch. I'm out this bitch.